Very good morning to all. How are you boys? Are you fine today? Welcome back to Sunday. We are again back to our English class. Today I have a new book. As I have told you last week, today onwards we are going to study a new book. Can you say the name of the book? Cambridge Global English Learner's Book. I told you before and you can open and see there are many pictures in it. Cambridge Global English Learner's Book. Okay, have you taken your book? Don't forget to take a pencil also. Yes, I think you have taken. And page number 10. Open page number 10. Open page number 10. No need of looking. Just open page number 10. Just follow me. Just listen. Open page number 10. Global English Learners, uh, learners Book. And write CW. What is CW? Class Work. And what's the date today? 29, 2020. Open Global English Learners Book. Page number 10. I will show you the page one more time. Open the colorful page. Wow, super pictures. There are many pictures. Today onwards, we will study with the help of these pictures. And also one more thing. You will listen many track CDs. You will listen CDs and you will study. Okay, children, are you ready? Yes. I hope that you might have opened page number uh, 10. And you have written classwork and date. Shall we start? Yes. What is the first thing written there? What's the topic of the lesson? Unit 1. Tell me. Unit 1. Welcome to school. Welcome to school. So I'm welcoming, uh, I'm welcoming you to our school. You are very sad. I can see from your face that you are not happy. Why? Because... You are not coming back to the school, but you are studying from your house. Don't worry, we can pray together to get a chance to come back to the school again, like your KG2. Yeah, soon you will be back. So, the topic of our lesson is Welcome to School. Read it after me. Welcome. Yeah, welcome to school. All are back to school. Think you are back to our school. Oh, all are surprised. A new school, new environment, new uh, playground, new classroom, new teachers, all are new. So you are very much excited and you are surprised. Yes, think you are just entering to your classroom. You are just coming to your classroom. This is the first day. You are back to your classroom, to a new school. After finishing your KG2, you are back to the boys section and it's your first day. So the teachers will say what? What do they say? Welcome children. Come on. Welcome back to school. Yes. I too want to welcome you. Welcome to school. Then now read and listen. You should read and listen. What you should read? You should read this. And what you should listen? Listen try three. You, you are going to listen try three. Just a minute. Before then I want to tell you. You are going to listen track 3. Okay. One thing. First we will listen. Then we will read. Are you ready to listen? Yeah, it will be a new experience for you. I know that your parents are helping you to uh, open the computer and putting the CD. And some of you have heard it before. Or some boys still they are going to listen try number 3. Just keep your hand here. When the CD is played. When the CD is played. By the time, try to read with it. Now I am not going to read. You just follow what is uh, from the CD. Just listen and try to read with it. Are you ready to listen to the CD? Ready? Ready? One, two, three. Listen. Track three. Hello, school. Tables and chairs. A list of rules. Books and crayons. Hello, school. Yes. What is written there? Can you read it? Hello, school. 
you are telling hi hello school tables and chairs what do you see in the classroom tables and chairs did you see no you couldn't see now no no problem i know that all are at your home sitting in your house sitting in your room so do one thing we are imagining we are dreaming that you are in the school from the picture look at the picture okay based on the picture i want to speak actually you are not present in the classroom you are in your house so you cannot see the tables and chairs from your school so think you are here this is your classroom and these are the things you can find in your classroom from the picture you can answer okay boys yes read it hello school yeah together hello school tables and chairs a list of rules what is a list of rules yes when you reach in the classroom on the wall or on the side or left or right side there will be some rules of hmm, behavior some rules will be there so you can find a classroom rules see classroom rules the teacher has written a classroom rules what is written there look and listen put your hands up be a good friend teacher wrote something there yeah don't make sound in the class okay raise your hand when you want to answer and be good friend be a good friend these are these are the rules you can find from your textbook okay then what is next books and crayons look in the picture again yeah look at the picture books there are many books yellow book okay purple book and crayons different colors of crayons or crayon box you can see only that only that no there are many things we will see it later so once again i will read it for you hello school try to read try to follow me hello school tables and chairs a list of rules books and crayons hello school yeah you are back to a school and you have seen books and crayons you saw tables and chairs and you noticed a list of rules who can read i will give you one second to read it try try to read then just point your fingers the tables and chairs try to read like that a list of rules books and crayons hello school finished very good okay excellent boys now just look number 2 hmm, the purple color written in your book what is in the classroom okay you just came to your classroom okay you are just observing looking here and there what can you see other than the other than books other than the books tables chairs crayons what can you see okay look read a blue pencil look in your textbook can you find a blue pencil on your table okay a green ruler like this can you find a green ruler yes green ruler on the table you can find a red lunch box look children look at very well there are many things you can find see yes purple book or green ruler okay blue ruler pencils red and green lunch box red yes yellow book crayons packet only this one more thing you can find an abc chart list of rules and white board these are the things you commonly find in your classroom okay okay boys did you understand i hope that you understood very well okay we are reading and listening first we have listened about the school second what is in the classroom can you write 10 things from your classroom when you look here and there can you write or can you name 10 things of your classroom like book crayons lunch box tables chairs okay ha huh, etc etc yeah tell me what are the next yeah tell hmm? rule of rules abc chart clock fan or ac white board or black board okay internet computers many things you can find in your classroom so children now do one thing 
we are moving to cd number 3 okay what is written there making friends everybody when you come to your school the first thing you are looking like this you will look this side you will look left side for what you are looking you are looking for hmm, making friends when you reach in the school the first thing you will look where is my friend abdullah hey, where is my friend siyad where is my friend hamsa where is my friend wali hey, where is my friend abdul rahim okay all are looking to make friends here in your book you can find two girls two girls are sitting have you seen what's the dress code for them oh red jacket is it red yes good both are sitting and talking what do they talk you have a duty to find out when you listen well you should tell me only one answer how old are they what is their age you remember in the first class we wrote no my name is abdur rahman i am five or six seven like you have written so we are going to watch and listen what is their age are you ready are you ready to listen okay before then i will erase the board okay or no problem you can see this just i will read for you look making friends listen to the children talking first thing listen very well what they are talking how old are they only you want to fill that answer there you can find see how how old are they how old are they so let me check your capacity of listening you're going to listen and you will tell me hey eh? you will tell me how old are they what's their age next practice with your partner you have to practice with your partner what you are going to practice with your partner children simple when you see a new friend you will welcome hello abdurrahman how are you okay how old are you where are you going in which class are you study like you are going to practice with your friend hmm? every friends will practice or every friend will wish you another friend okay you can do with your mom or dad also think that your mom is another friend or your friend instead of mom you can say hello hello abdur rahman how are you you can ask your mom or you can ask your father not hello dad you can tell hello hmm? wali how are you are you ready yes we are going to listen track number or cd number 4 track 4 are you ready track 4 making friends ready track 4 hi i'm anna what's your name my name is maria how old are you i'm 6 me too i like your lunch box thank you Are you ready to listen again one more time? Are you ready to listen? It was very fast talking because girls are talking very quickly. So listen, observe and listen well. One more time, the same track for you are going to listen. I will ask you some questions after it. Ready? One, two, three. Track four. Hi, I'm Anna. What's your name? My name is Maria. How old are you? I'm 6. Me too. I like your lunch box. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Look at children. So two friends are talking. What they are talking? Hi. I am What's your name? What's the first name? What's the name of that girl? First girl who is talking? I am Tell me. I am Anna. Actually it is Anna, but they say I am Anna. And second girl is telling I am Maria. What's your name? Maria. and anna is asking to maria how old are you so maria is telling i am 5 oh some are telling sari is wrong not 5 i am 8 no maria is telling i am i am tell me i am what children i am how old are they there you can write your answer 6 there's a small space you can write your answer there i am 6 anna also telling i am also 6 me too me too means i am also 6 then one more thing they tell i like your dash i like your what children can you find what is on the table what's the color of this one what's the name of this thing lunch box 
and she says i like your i like your see i like your lunch box what's the color red they don't mention the color red but they say i like your lunch box did you listen the conversations are you ready to make some conversations like this can you talk to your friends like my name is anna i am 6 i like your lunch box my name is siyat hmm? i am 7 i like your blue bike my name is abdurrahman i am 7 i like your pink watch can you say like that oh pink color is not for boys pink color is for girls some are laughing there i know okay no problem hmm? yes did you listen the conversation track number 4 yes very good now we are moving again to next page number 11 there are there also some more important things to study page number page number 11 topic vocabulary just wait i want to erase the board okay just one second please by the time you can look in your book what are the pictures you can find there this is a question from there now you will listen the cd track 5 just wait then when you listen the cd pictures are in different order what picture they say first you will write their number 1 what picture they say second you will write their number 2 order is different and you will find out the order okay i will erase just wait are you reading or are you looking yeah find out the pictures and get idea with all the pictures and the spelling also very very important those vocabulary spelling okay so try to read it first okay yes so i will write for you now i'm using black color okay to make you to more easy to understand okay topic vocabulary see it like five the topic is topic topic yeah topic vocabulary new words vocabulary can you tell can you read it vocabulary vocabulary a topic vocabulary and there are some pictures i'm not writing that in the order now we will listen and what is the number 1 what is the picture they say listen point and say so your duty like this okay when when you listen from the cd listen point they will say like a clock you will repeat a clock they will say a white board you will say a white board then they will say an abc chart you will repeat an abc chart then they will say chairs you will say chairs and they will say computers you will say computers are you ready yeah we are going to listen track number 5 track 5 a table a clock a whiteboard an abc chart chairs computers listen okay but what was the order what was the first thing they said i just hmm, i just trap you okay i told you it is not in the correct order but it was in the correct order so everybody listened well number 1 what is number 1 repeat it a table what's number 2 a loud say loud a clock what is number 3 a white board what's number 4 an abc chart what's number 5 chairs okay what's number 5 sorry what's number 4 chairs and what's number 5 computers these words are very very important these vocabulary spelling you should memorize very well so i will write in order a table a table next a clock a whiteboard 
इट्स ईसी स्पेलिंग नो वाइट बोर्ड सम ऑफ द स्पेलिंग यू नो ऑलरेडी एन एन ए बी सी चार्ट वॉट इज ए बी सी चार्ट यू रिमेंबर द एल्फाबेट चार्ट ए बी सी चार्ट ओके नेक्स्ट चेयर्स चेयर्स एंड कंप्यूटर्स कंप्यूटर्स ओके बॉयस क्लियर नो वन मोर टाइम आई विल रीड इट फॉर यू रीड आप मी a table very good a clock yeah i can listen or i can't listen yeah some are reading very good a white board excellent an abc chart well done chairs chairs computers say together computers yeah or chanting boys computers okay now finally number next to cd just wait i will explain number 6 cd track 6 what is written there classroom treasure hunt it's a game what's a game classroom treasure hunt i will read for you listen to matthew you can find a boy there can you find a boy there his name is his name is matthew his name is matthew listen to matthew do you like the name matthew any matthew in this class no 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 eh no matthew here okay i remember 3 years back there was a name there was a boy named matthew now he is in class 6 uh, i think so okay he is doing a classroom treasure hunt he is doing a game okay we will come to know what is the game later which thing does he <coughs> forgot to say he is looking in the classroom he is looking everywhere and he is recording the things he made a paper and he wrote yeah what are the things he wrote what are the things he wrote in his book just say <coughs> he is making s or no type questions and he made a chart the chart says number 1 a white board 2 a clock number 3 chairs number 3 tables number 4 books next computers that means matthew wrote these all the things on his paper but one thing is not there that means matthew wrote one thing or matthew forgot to say something there he is telling all the things but he forgot to say something the question which thing does he forgot to say sometimes it happens to us also no we are recollecting everything but we are forgetting to say so what do matthew forget to say can you ready can you ready or are you ready to find out are you ready to find out children which thing matthew forgot to say how to know this one okay i will just write quickly <coughs> it's like a board for matthew okay and he has written here yes yes no yes no so number 1 white board white board number 2 a clock yes number 3 chairs okay next tables can you see this children i wrote so small because no space that's why we need something to complete that's why books children books next computers yeah these are the things matthew wrote and he is going to tick yes or no what is there what is there we will tick yes what's not there uh, what's not there what we will do we will circle and find out are you ready children now do a treasure hunt with matthew ready 1 2 3 listen six track track 6 in my classroom There are tables and chairs. There are lots of books and two computers. There's also a whiteboard. What do you have in your class? Yes. Do you want to listen again? <coughs> It was very speed talk. So can you listen again? Listen well. In my classroom, listen. Track 6. In my classroom, there are tables and chairs. There are lots of books and two computers. There's also a whiteboard. What do you have in your class? Yes, Matthew said that. 
He says that in my classroom, there are, what are the things there? He said, in my classroom, there are, yeah, tell me, there are, yes, tables, yes. We can put a tick over there. There are tables. Matthew says, there are chairs. Mm. There are books. In my classroom, there are tables and chairs, books. And he said, how many computers there, children? Who can tell? Yeah, tell out. Tell aloud. Very good. Two computers. He says, two computers. In my class, there's a whiteboard. And Matthew did not say one thing. But he wrote that on the board or that, sorry, I wrote on the board. Matthew, did, uh, Matthew wrote that on his paper. What is the name of that thing? Tell me. Which thing Matthew forgot to say? Oh, all are raising the hand. Excellent. Which thing Matthew forgot to say, children? Yeah, I didn't tick both columns, yes or no. So, which one he forgot to say? A clock. Circle it. A clock. Circle and here okay so he forgot to say a clock so what are the things in matthew's classroom he has chairs tables books two computers whiteboard but a clock he forgot to say clear children now you think what you can you see in your classroom make a treasure hunt take a paper like this okay and write like this and think what is or what was in my classroom when I was in KG 2. Think. Hmm? Were there a whiteboard, a clock, or a ch yeah, chairs were there? Just tick and write. Yes or no? Ready boys? Yeah, very good boys. Now finally, <coughs> we are a yeah, school poem. Last part, school poem. So it is written there. Write a school poem with your class. Okay, uh, school, okay, school, school poem, write uh, a school poem with your class. You are going to write a school poem with your class. What is school poem, children? Anything what you can write. We studied many things today, like just one example I will show you. That you can write in your notebook, a school poem. If you can, hmm? what we will do? Yeah, we... <coughs> Like school poem, give a heading like school poem. You give a heading, then just write we we read at school. Like you can make different poems. We read at school, we play at school, we you eat at school, anything you can add there. We study at school. Okay, we read at school, we play at school, we study at school, like many things, okay? You can add a, like a school poem, you can add or you can write a school poem, okay? We read at school, we write at school, write at school. Huh, tell me, you are reading only or you are writing only? Yes, play, very good. Yeah, you can write that also. Or we draw at school. We draw, D-R-A-W, draw at school, okay, and last word, school is cool, school, Rhyme, rhyming word, school is cool, my school is cool, okay, can you sing the poem with me, hey, can you sing this with me, school poem, we read at school, we write at school, we draw at school, school is cool, do you like this song? You make different one. I write it in your notebook. So this is a homework for you. Today I am planning to give you this is a homework. Either you can copy this or make your own school poem. I will be very happy if you write your own school poem. Not the same. At least change this way and write play. Okay, if you are sleeping at your summer telling we sleep at school. Okay, write sleep at school. Ready boys? This is a homework and Another homework. This is a homework. Open your English notebook. Write clearly unit one. Welcome to school. This will be your heading. Okay. Then you just write a heading. Vocabulary. Topic vocabulary. 
write these words a table a clock a whiteboard an abc chart chairs computers write this write it in your notebook and this sort of school poem also you write it in your notebook how many homeworks are there for you today two which are the two topic vocabulary write how many words six words write in your notebook don't forget to write your unit one welcome to school heading and write a school poem what is your school poem like this okay i think that the class is very good for you or you understood all the new classes okay so i'm going to winding up here read very well read very well this lesson two pages read very well okay boys okay we will meet tomorrow till then bye bye okay see you